Shalom family trendsetter Before I continue I want to apologize If I've offended anyone You know what I'm saying Their beliefs A lot of y'all you know what I'm saying Subscribe to Christianity The Bible And for the most part You know I, I really shouldn't be apologizing Because you know I have to if, if, in other words, if I have done research, if I have come across evidence that a lot of stuff that's, that's given to us by our oppressors is not really from quote unquote God, is basically their spin on things. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be apologizing because you didn't go out there and do your own research. But I'm apologizing because I know sometimes I come across as being arrogant. You know, like someone said to me yesterday, one of my subscribers that I actually know. That live in my area They said to me like Yo why do you come so hard man When it comes to Christianity and the Bible I mean I understand your position on it And what you say It does make sense But you have to understand That these people have been indoctrinated You know for You know generations man And you know they don't really In other words They don't you know Especially black folks Black folks we don't like to do our own research We just like to go go along and get along If someone tells you something You go behind them and you support them Including me And that's why I always tell y'all family Challenge me Challenge the status quo man Challenge me Go behind me Just all you have to Google right They have Google They got Bing They got all these different um, search engines you can use Now we know that of course Even Google not going to give you 100% accuracy because they're controlled by the oppressors, the enemy, you know what I'm saying? These colonizers, they they control these um, search engines. However, sometimes they you, they will slip up. If you actually, the Bible says, right, um, study to show yourself approved. I think that's in the New Testament too, if I'm not mistaken. Study, study yourself to, to show yourself approved. So, you have to go out there. You can't just stop where you at. You have to keep searching. You know, remember when you first, you Hebrews I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. Remember when we first um, got into the, the, that religion called Christianity? Oh, man, it was nothing else. It was no other savior. There's no other name you could be saved other than the name of Jesus. And we all believe that Jesus was, you know, the only savior. And we called upon him. We baptized in his name. And it's not until we became aware that you know it was a false narrative a lot of y'all say oh christianity is a pagan religion but yet still y'all still follow the same pagan deity in that religion and then now as you get advanced you realize wait a minute his name couldn't have been jesus because the letter j was invented in 1524 i, I was thinking it was 1548 shit it was actually uh, you know earlier than that so i'm saying to myself like damn you know what's up you know who is this Jesus Christ guy? And when I start to um, research and really dig deep, because I'm very, very inquisitive, fam. I'm nosy. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't need like to be, you know, very book smart and go to college and all that. Because you know, you can be, you know, like a private investigator and shit. They're nosy motherfuckers. That's why they became private investigators. These are some inquisitive people, individuals. So I decided to become a, a private investigator. I said, you know, let me let me dig a little deeper, man, because I don't want to make a mistake because there's a scripture in the Bible that says, you know, if you deny Christ, paraphrasing, of course, he will deny you to his father. I don't want to be denied, you know what I'm saying, by his father, man, because, you know, if his father is God, I don't want to be denied. And then I start to say, well, wait a minute, who is God anyway? And I start to research that word God, G-O-D. And I realized, wait a minute, God is actually a title? It's not really his name. He has a name. Some people call him Yahweh, you know, Yahuwah, you know, Ahaya, and many, many other names they call this God. So I'm saying, okay, then if God is a title and God is just a, a ideology, then, you know, shit, I'm not worshiping no ideology. Ideology is something that someone creates. Just like how they tell you that the, the, um, the, the, um, the earth is round, right? We're living on a round globe. Spending a thousand miles an hour That's somebody ideology As a matter of fact to, sh to tell you how crazy this is right The person that actually came up with this hypothesis This was like way way back in the What the, 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 the uh, 1300s Or probably earlier than that So they didn't have a rocket ship Or airplane where they could leave the earth 
and go into the sky to look down and say, oh, wait a minute, the earth is actually round. Matter of fact, you would need actually a rocket, not even an airplane. Because when you're in a, you know, when you're in the airplane, you can look down, you can still see that, you know, this shit look round. I mean, not round, it looks flat. They give you these, they, like these, like, you know, the, um, the windows that you looked on the airplane, it's, got, it's called fisheye lens, right? So it's kind of curved. Notice the next time you go on an airplane, how the, the, uh, the windows is like round so when you look through it, it kind of look give you the illusion that the earth is round but if you really clearly look you can see like straight and you have to ask yourself this question how did they determine back in the 1300s i'm just giving a, a you know a, a number i'm probably earlier than that and shit galileo right galileo you know galileo was how did they determine that the earth was round because back in the ancient days they believed the earth was flat according to the bible and a lot of y'all might be like, why does dude always refer back to the Bible but talk about the Bible? And the reason simply is this, family. Because the Bible has a lot of truth and it also has a lot of contradicting lies. They have to give you some truth with lies in order for you to stay in truth. Because see, if you if they give you all lies in the Bible and you realize this shit don't make no sense, you're not going to really rock with it. But if you see some truth in it, and then you see some lies, you're not going to throw away the baby with the bathwater, which which I suggest that you don't do with me either. I know y'all may not agree with everything that I say on my channel, but don't discount me because of religion. We don't agree on religion, so now you don't, I don't want to deal with this nigga because you don't believe in Jesus. Nah, because there's other things I believe in that you believe in. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this person was telling me, look, man, just try to tone down a little bit, man. You can't. You can't force feed babies. They're like babies. They're new to this stuff. You know what I mean? they just coming out of Christianity and now you're just going to take away everything from them. You can't do that because then they're going to get turned off from you. They ain't going to want to watch you no more. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, listen, I'm not here to gain a popularity, popularity contest. Man, look, I do appreciate my subscriber. Love y'all to death. But if you want to go somewhere, you can, you can do that because I don't want you to stay with me because you feel obligated. No. My shit ain't monetized. Y'all ain't paying me to talk to y'all. I do this out of the goodness of my heart because, family, again, I was a diehard Christian. I told you I got baptized four times, four times. And that shit ain't do nothing for me. And then when I realized what baptism was about, I realized that the ancient Egyptians was used, to, used to do baptism before Jesus Christ even was thought of. Now, I know y'all believe he was... You know, from the foundation of the earth, because John 1 and 1 says, you know, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word became God, and the word became flesh, whatever the hell it says, right? I understand that, y'all, but that's y'all believe. That's what they say. That's what they wrote in the New Testament. The New Testament. What was wrong with the Old Testament? And then when I begin to research that, damn, they had baptism in ancient days too, in ancient Egypt, where they believed that um, in order for the baby to be purified after birth, Right after the woman gave birth, they had to purify the baby by dipping the baby in the Nile River. That's where you get your, uh, uh, what do you call it, a christening from. I'm like, damn, that means they might have plagiarized that shit from the ancient Egyptians too. And then what I did, family, I started to read, I started to do a little bit of research in the ancient e Egyptian customs. And I realized it's kind of similar to what they say in the Helio Biblos Bible. And I'll say, okay, does that mean because it came from Kemet? You know, it's not true. No, that actually make me more believe in the Bible because I'm saying, okay, if I can prove a lot of the shit that the Bible say in in more ancient manus manus manuscripts, right, such as the Egyptian uh, writings and shit, then that mean this story is definitely true. Noah and the Ark, it, 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 the story was told back in ancient Egypt, way before Jesus Christ was, before the Bible was even invented. Right, because remember 1611, a lot of y'all believe that's the oldest Bible. That's not the oldest Bible. The oldest Bible is actually a 14-something um, Bible. I forgot the name of the devil that actually wrote the first Bible, right? And I'm saying to myself, that means, you know, Moses, Abraham, I, all these people are real. They were real because you had ancient, you know, Egyptians or ancient Kemet. They was dealing with the same thing. It's just that they may have another name because, of course... You know, you, you, we know his name wasn't Jesus. His name was Horus back then. You know what I'm saying? We know Abraham name. The name couldn't have been Abraham because the letter A is this was English alphabet. So they might have had another name for me, like the, the, the Gilgamesh, the, the Gilgamesh epic or whatever the hell it's called, right? That's a story, the same story about um, about Noah. But what they did, they plagiarized the story from our ancient writings, 
right? The Egyptians, the, the ancient uh, Hebrews and Phoenicians and Samaritans and Canaanites or whatever. They plagiarized. They took our shit, family, and rewrote it in this book called the Bible. And a lot of y'all get so defensive when you talk about the Bible. Oh, my God. He's talking about the myth. Listen. I ain't going to say it, right? The Bible is not the infallible word of God. The Bible is the infallible word of man. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop down. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, After my commentary, I'm going to include a, a brief cartoon clips, right? It's, it's, it's going to be like an animated clip. And it's going to show you how many different contradictions in the Bible. And it's just a prelude. It's not even a whole thing. It's so many different contradictions. I'm gonna. I want y'all when y'all watch the um car. It's gonna be it's supposed to be funny, but it's not because it's done by these devils, right? But I want you to write down the scriptures that they bring forth, and really and truly compare the scriptures, and you'll see the different contradiction of each account in the Helio Biblos Bible. And you and when you see contradiction, you have to say to yourself, "Well, wait a minute. If God is perfect, right? God doesn't make mistake. Why would He write this book and give it to mankind?" With contradiction in it According to y'all Y'all think God wrote the Bible God didn't write the Bible Man wrote that shit You know what I'm saying And remember There were 66 books 66 different individual From all over the world family Not just in one place That wrote these stories Right And um, the Council of Nicaea They got together For those of you who know Council of Nicaea Research who they are They got together They read these different stories And they decide what they're going to canonize and what they're going to you know keep and what they're going to take out and this was done by romans romans it wasn't done by black people our story was back from fucking egypt because remember the hebrews we was in egypt at one time we were slaves so we was you know what i'm saying we was a part of we had a lot of egyptian customs believe it or not so much so that's why our ass was in bondage because we was following after the egyptians and the most I said not to do so. You know what I mean? But our 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 practice was more closer to the Egyptian rather than the Romans. But today everybody's following after the Romans, getting married and putting fucking rings on your finger, not realizing the ring significant the sun. That's the sun and shit. Everything that the Romans deal with is the sun. The ring that you wear around your fruit, you know, your, your wife, she gotta get a diamond ring and you don't need no fucking ring. Hebrew don't wear a ring. You know how we used to get married back in the days, and I'm gonna I'm I'm close it down. Back in the days, right? As a Hebrew, our custom was we had, if you, let's say you see a shorty and you like her, right? You gotta go to her father and you gotta ask for hand in marriage. It's kind of like what you do today, too, but we don't do that shit. You know, we go to fucking, uh, what's that place called? Um, Las, Las Vegas and get married, elope and shit, right? So you could go down to the courthouse now and just, just do, you know, do, do get, a, get married. But back then, real quick, family. You had to go to the, the father. You had to ask, you know, for his daughter in marriage and shit, hand in marriage. And before you was granted, the father had to check you out and shit, do a background on your ass. Make sure your family has some kind of wealth. Because most, most, the custom was most father didn't want their daughter marrying to a poor family. Of course, you know, which, which, which makes sense and shit. But today, we be married to all type of niggas. Meet niggas on the internet and get married and shit. Niggas that, yeah, you know, anyway. So, after the father agreed, to you know this matrimony or whatever then he would give you a diary a diary is not a diary like a book basically a white sheet right and with the white sheet you had to take it to your crib and what you did was you had to you know have sex do your thing and a lot of time when you marry you don't marry a, a hoe you marry a virgin right most men wanted a virgin so when you go ahead and you consummate the marriage by having sex, because that's what marriage is, sex. Once the woman bleed on that white sheet, right, it proves that she's a virgin. Then you had to take that white sheet back to the dad. And the dad, believe it or not, when he received that white sheet, he was proud. He was a proud, it was the proudest moment in his life to know that his daughter was still a virgin. And he would actually keep that nasty ass sheet, right? It's called a diary. And he would keep it as a souvenir. In the event later on you decide you want to divorce his wife, I mean divorce his daughter, your wife, and claim that she was a hoe when you met her, she wasn't a virgin, then he could say, nah, nigga, here we got proof right here. Here go the white sheet that she, you consummate the marriage. And after, actually, after you gave him the sheet and it was proven that his daughter was a virgin, 
he would go announce it to the community, right? To the block and shit. Look, my daughter's a virgin. So now, you know, we're going to set up. A, uh, they, they are actually married. Now we're going to celebrate. That's where you get your reception from. And then every, all everybody in the community and shit, it was a big thing, you know, a real big thing. Because now you join in two, toge two together. You know, two flesh now becomes one. In other words, Adam got back his, his rib and shit. And then they would celebrate. Big celebration. And if this nigga dare try to find another shorty and say, I'm leaving her because she was a hoe when I met her, she wasn't a virgin, then the father would use that diary against his ass and he would have to pay back three foes. Right? In other words, he would have to work for the dad or he would have to give a whole bunch of shit before he get divorced. That's what it was about. It wasn't about no motherfucking diamond ring and shit. I, I, I wear a ring on my finger because my wife, she's still into this this um, Babylonian system and shit. You know, where oh, you, I want you to wear a ring on your finger because I don't want women coming after you. Look, there's a lot of women I still like. I see, shit, I see some of my subscribers that look very attractive. It's, it's by nature for us to admire other females. You know what I'm saying? Men back then, we was allowed to have more than one wives because it, that's what build nation. You can't build nation with just one woman, but a lot of y'all, because y'all are jealous or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like, nah, I ain't having that shit. Listen, in the next kingdom, the Bible said we're going to have seven. Seven women to one man. In some cultures today in Africa, you have men that have multiple wives. But y'all just look at it like, oh, we just want some pussy. No, it ain't. No. Yes, of course, that's it that's too. But you just want to have, you know, you want to know that you're able to support or help someone else. If a woman, husband die and she have children, the custom was in the Hebrew faith, you were supposed to try to bring that woman into your household and, and, and help her out. And, you know, that the way the kids don't be without and shit. But today, they, the Romans they ain't having it. They just want some boy lovers. You feel what I'm saying? Catholic Church. But family, I want you to stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to go more into it. I'm trying not to go over my recording time. Shalom.